Good evening. Welcome to tonight's concert. Uh, I'm Luke Bernanke, principal at Riddle here. It's great to have everybody back in the building. This is awesome. So this is the first time for us at Riddle. I know Columbia had a concert, so thank you to everybody for attending. Kids are really excited, so um, and so are we. So welcome back. Uh, so here we go. Students have been studying the habitats, habitats, continents, and cultures in their science and social studies classes. The program extends their learning through music. A uh, special thank you to our teachers, Mrs. Brooks, Mrs. Coulter, Mrs. Piercy, Mrs. Lee, and Mrs. Zion, and Mrs. Mendez. Our special teachers, Mrs. Gard, Mrs. Funk, Mrs. Downs, Mrs. Thomas, and Mrs. Schwenk. Also, a shout out to our parent volunteers, Mrs. Hopkins, Mrs. Martin, Mrs. McLaughlin, and Mrs. Viger for your help with costumes and backstage. Devon Gibbons, thank you for the sound, and Kay Johnson on video. And thank you to our custodians tonight for helping us out. And after the concert, and I'll let you know this again, um, where your kids will be. Um, so after the concert, Mrs. Coulter, Mrs. What? Lee, and Mrs. Piercy's classes will be in the library. And Mrs. Zions, Mrs. What? Roars, and Mrs. Brooks' classes will be in the choir room. We will need time to exit the stage and ch change costumes. So please don't go to those areas until all students are out of the hallways. Um, please do not stand in the doorways or aisles for safety reasons and because some of our students will be using these to enter the auditorium and stage. Uh, we ask that if you do have a crying or noisy child to please take them out so as to not take away from tonight's performance. RTC is recording tonight's performance. We will try to inform you as to when it will be broadcasted. Um, cell phones, if you could check those, make sure they are on silent please. Okay, we also have the federal government's here uh, copyright announcement. Here we go. This performance includes copyrighted materials which have been properly licensed specifically for this event. However, audio and or video recording for rebroadcast or distribution in any way without the express written consent and proper license from the author is a violation of federal copyright law and is prohibited. Side note, it is our obligation to announce this policy, not to enforce it. <laughs> okay. um, masks are encouraged. Okay, and with that, I think we're ready to go here. I think I hear them back there quieting down. So let's get started.
we start our journey with our continent, North America. North America is the third largest continent and is made up of three major countries, Canada, Mexico, and the United States. This continent is bordered by the Atlantic Ocean on the east and the Pacific Ocean on the west. The northern part, which includes Alaska, is the super cold tundra, and Hawaii, which has a tropical climate. Three main languages that are spoken are French and English in Canada, English in the U.S., and Spanish in Mexico and smaller countries. But let's take a closer look at the best country, the United States, where you can hear many kinds of music from pop, hip-hop, and rock and roll to country and classical. It is also where people say that nothing is, a, is as American as baseball and apple pie. Baseball first came here from England and was played in alleys and vacant lots. Then in 1845, New York City hosted the first organized baseball game. New York City is also home to the first Major League Baseball Stadium, Fenway Park. In 1908, they started singing the Tin Pan Alley song, Take Me Out to the Ball Game Before the Seventh Inning of the Game. Please listen to America's favorite pastime song, which is sung at almost every baseball game. Take me out to the ball game. social times. They created new types of music and dance. The square dance was one of those folk dances created and is uniquely American. In fact, it is the USA's official, official national folk dance. Watch our version of an American square dance as we sing Alabama Gal.
border to Mexico, we get chocolate, corn, and chilies from Mexico. The country sits on a large volcano and earthquake zone. Mexican music was influenced by ancient native cultures and immigrants from Spain. The main instruments used in their music are trumpets, maracas, and guitars. We have two songs from Mexico for you. We will be singing a song about how we make music with our bodies in Spanish. But first, we bring to you a famous Mexican cartoon character and a national folk song with a Latin American flair, Don Gato.
across the Atlantic Ocean we go, and to our next stop, Europe. Europe is the sixth largest continent, which means that it is only larger than Australia. Even though it is a smaller continent, it has 46 different countries, yet each country has its own language. Our next song celebrates these languages.
Russia is a country that is part of Europe and Asia. Russia borders the frigid Arctic Ocean to the north and also as part of the Himalaya Mountains. Russia has a long history of influencing music, from folk songs to sacred music. Traditional instruments played for Russian folk songs include the violin, clarinet, and the accordion. The most famous Russian composer was Tchaikovsky, who wrote many beautiful ballets. Our next song is a traditional Russian folk song about a perfect day. of Asia make up what we call the Orient. Oriental written and spoken language is very different from ours. Their music is also very different. It has been traced back over 7,000 years. This unique music uses chimes, bells, and a five-note scale that is called the pentatonic scale. The first known instrument came from this part of the world. It was a flute-type instrument made from a bone and is called a dizzy. They also play instruments like the zither, pin, and pipa. This song from China uses the pentatonic scale and is played on a zither. Countries have their own type of money. 
coastal regions eat a lot of fish, while most countries enjoy eating plantains, which look like a small banana. Afri African people use music and dance for celebrations and special occasions. Different kinds of drums and rhythm-making rhythm instruments are used for their musics, chants, and dances. Listen as we sing for you a folk song from Ghana and a song of welcome from Nigeria, two African countries. Both are sung using indigenous tribal languages. and special occasions like carnival time. We have two songs from South America for you tonight, a tango from Argentina and an instrumental piece called Armadillo.
final destination for tonight is the continent of Australia, also called Oceania. It is the smallest inhabited continent. It is also known as the island continent because it is made up of only islands. The one very big island is the country of Australia. And then there are about 30,000 smaller islands that are found in the Pacific Ocean north and east of the big island. These small islands make up what is called the Polynesian Islands. This name makes sense because the word Polynesia means region of many islands. Australia is the flattest continent and is home to the world's largest reef system. Some unique animals found here are koala, kangaroos, and the kookaburra. They also have dangerous snakes like the brown snake and tiger snake. To the north of the country of Australia is the Torres Strait. In this area, there are 240 islands, but only 17 have people living on them. Our next song comes from one of these inhabited islands. Tabanaba is a song about fishing in the coral reef and is sung in the island's native language.
our journey ends. As we have explored our world, we have found many differences between people, the land, and their cultures. Thank you for coming tonight. We hope you have enjoyed our musical journey around the world and have learned a few things along the way. Remember, no matter if you prefer pop, rock and roll, hip hop, country, or classical music, music is still a universal language and will always be enjoyed any place life may take you. And music also helps us see how people around the world are the same in many ways, making this a small world after all. take off costumes and all of that. Um, let's see here. So, <laughs> that was amazing. The kids doing solos and dances and everything. That was awesome. Okay, so if your student is in Mrs. Coulter's, Mrs. Lee's, or Mrs. Piercy's class, they will be in the library. If your student is in Mrs. Zion's, Mrs. Roar's, or Mrs. Brooks, they will be in the choir room. And again, thank you. Really thank you everybody for coming out tonight. It was awesome to see everybody. Stay safe and have a happy Thanksgiving.